Hi, I'm Mark Childs. And if you're new to this channel, I'm an internal medicine critical care trained physician with a deep passion for photography. Today, I thought I'd do something a little different. And instead of talking to you from some exotic place like Africa or Antarctica, I'm here in my own backyard. Today's topic is an extension of the photographic journey I've been on to find healing through photography. And if you haven't seen any of my prior videos, please do so. And don't forget to like and subscribe below. It's really appreciated. So let's do this. Photography has always been more than just a hobby for me. It's a way to connect with the world, a source of comfort, and a powerful tool for healing. Through the lens of my camera, I've discovered a path to emotional well being. This path is paved with moments of awe and wonder. We live in a world that often feels chaotic and overwhelming. It's easy to get caught up in the daily grind and lose sight of the beauty that surrounds us. But photography offers an escape, a chance to pause, observe, and appreciate the extraordinary in the ordinary. When we engage in photography, we shift our focus outward. We start to notice the intricate details of nature, the play of light and shadow, and the fleeting expressions on people's faces. This shift in perspective, this mindful observation, is at the heart of photography's healing power. Awe is a complex emotion that has profound effects on our minds and our bodies. It's that feeling of wonder and amazement we experience when we encounter something vast and mysterious, something that transcends our understanding of the world. Neuroscience has begun to unravel the mechanisms by which awe impacts our brains. Studies have shown that experiencing awe can lead to a decrease in stress hormones like cortisol. It can also increase levels of oxytocin, often referred to as the love hormone, which promotes feelings of connection and empathy. Experiencing situations that bring a sense of awe to the viewer has a significant impact on the brain, changing the brain's chemistry in a way that promotes well-being, emotional, social, and psychological, and as well reduces stress, anxiety, depression, and even post-traumatic stress disorder. Awe has also been linked to increased activity in the prefrontal cortex, that part of our brain responsible for planning, decision-making, and social behavior. This suggests that awe can enhance our cognitive abilities and improve our social interactions. My own journey with photography and healing took a significant turn during an amazing adventure of discovery to Africa during the COVID pandemic. In my first YouTube video project, I tried to portray the sense of awe I experienced in this amazing continent through my photos and my interactions with nature and wildlife. And if you haven't yet watched these videos, I'll leave a link above and in the comments below. Prior to this trip, I'd always been drawn to nature's grandeur, but nothing could have prepared me for the sheer awe I felt while on safari. The vast savannas teeming with life, the sight of elephants lumbering across the plains, the sounds of gorillas echoing through the jungle and the roar of a lion echoing through the night filled me with a sense of wonder I had never known before. Through my camera lens, I felt a profound connection to the natural world, a sense of peace and belonging I had been longing for. It was during this trip and subsequent adventures of the past few years that I truly began to understand the transformative power of awe. But one doesn't have to travel to far off distant lands to feel awe or to experience wonder. And just getting out with your camera or your camera phone, wherever you are, whether it be a park, the beach, woodlands at home, or even your backyard, can allow you to experience the beauty around you and start making vital changes to your own brain chemistry to allow for healing. Awe is everywhere, waiting to be discovered in the everyday moments of our lives. 
It could be in the intricate pattern of frost flowers on a newly frozen lake, or the fresh fallen snow on your home doorstep, or the breathtaking colors of a sunset, or even a magnificent cityscape. The key to unlocking awe in our surroundings is to cultivate a sense of curiosity and wonder. It's about approaching the world with fresh eyes, like a child seeing things for the first time. Take the time to notice the small details that often go unnoticed. Look for patterns, textures, and contrasts. Pay attention to the way light interacts with your surroundings. And you might be surprised by the beauty you'll discover in the most unexpected places. The act of taking the photograph itself can be therapeutic. When we frame a shot through our viewfinder, we are actively engaging with our environment, focusing our attention on a particular subject or scene. This mindful focus can have a calming effect on our minds, quieting the constant chatter of our thoughts. Moreover, pressing the shutter button releases a cascade of neurotransmitters in our brains, including dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine is associated with pleasure and reward, while serotonin contributes to feelings of happiness and well-being. So every time you take a photograph, you are essentially giving yourself a mini dose of feel-good chemicals. Over time, this can have a cumulative effect on our mental health, promoting a greater sense of well-being and resilience. Doc Keltner, in his book, Awe, The New Science of Everyday Wonder and How It Can Transform Your Life, defines awe as the feeling of being in the presence of something vast that transcends your current understanding of the world. The situations where one can experience such awe is endless, from the witnessing of the aurora borealis, or standing on the precipice of an active volcano, to holding a newborn baby in your arms, or watching the sunrise at your local beach. Over the centuries, artists have understood this and have tapped into the importance of this feeling and have used their own art, whether that be visual, musical, spiritual, to evoke awe in their recipients. Today, social media platforms like Instagram have become digital galleries for sharing awe-inspiring images from around the world. And while there are valid concerns about the addictive nature of social media, it's also important to acknowledge its potential for good. Seeing images of breathtaking landscapes, stunning wildlife, or acts of human kindness can trigger the same feelings of awe and wonder that we experience in the real world. This can have a positive impact on our mood, reduce stress, and inspire us to connect with others. Every time we see an amazing photo or a reel on Instagram that evokes awe, we have an urge to hit the button and like it. And that act does not just provide a surge of dopamine and satisfaction to the artist, but also the simple act of pressing like also imprints that feeling in the viewer. There is an addictive quality to that which social media companies have definitely tapped into to keep the viewer's attention. And if used for untoward purposes, such as promoting hate, political discourse or self-shaming can be utterly devastating and counterproductive to one's mental health. But that doesn't mean that all social media is bad. And if one does not have the ability to experience the glow of a mountain range at sunrise, or a whale breaching in the Antarctic wilderness, or the fiery lava flows of an active volcano, well, seeing such amazing things unfold in your own living room can still have a positive effect. Awe has always been the driving force in art. From the breathtaking landscapes of the romantic painters to the awe-inspiring cultures of Michelangelo, artists throughout history have sought to capture and evoke a sense of wonder in their work. But you don't need to be a professional photographer or artist to reap the mental health benefits of photography or get a good shot. All you need is a camera, a curious mind, and a willingness to explore the world around you. Start by making time for photography in your daily routine. Even a few minutes a day can make a difference. But the difference between amateur and professional artists is that professionals understand the artistry of the shot and what will transmit that feeling of awe to the viewer. 
So the next time you see a great shot on Instagram or a beautiful painting in a museum, take a moment to reflect on what it is that impresses you most about it and realize that taking that extra moment to sense and take in the awe you experience may very well be doing more for your soul, your mental health, and overall well-being than you might realize. Take your camera with you on your commute, your lunch break, or your evening walk. Look for opportunities to capture moments of beauty and wonder, no matter how small or insignificant they may seem. Check out the birds on your bird feeder. Walk down the city streets and look for the lines and artistry and the architecture of the buildings. Or just take in a sunset and snap a few photos to imprint that scene in your memory forever. And remember, awe is everywhere, just waiting to be discovered. Thanks. And don't forget to like and subscribe below. It really helps this channel grow and boosts my own dopamine levels as well. Thanks again. Until next time.